Hey everyone, so we made it. It is the last one in this deep dive. Um, do we save the best till last? Quite possibly. Um, I love Groove Agent. So this one is Groove Agent, and let's have a look. This is what it looks like. So for me, honestly, in my 20 plus years experience, I've never seen a plugin that can do what this can do in the software realm. I'm from the beat realm. I'm from the MPC world, the sampler world. You know, I use the modern stuff, uh, the poly and play the machine. I use all them kind of things now. Um, uh, Akai Force, all that kind of stuff. This is as close as we can get in the software to be able to do this. And I absolutely love Groove Agent um, 5 SE. And obviously there's a full blown version of Cubase, um, of Groove Agent that you can use within Cubase and other doors as well. Uh, if you check the Steinberg site. But I think this to be built into Cubase, it's very generous what it can do. It's an amazing tool. So here's what it looks like. Um, quickly explain things. We have a pattern mode and we have an instrument mode. So in the pattern mode, let's load a def default kit. So I don't know what that is. I just randomly just threw it on there. Okay, let's have a listen. So in pattern mode, we have to get to hear the grooves. So that's quite good. And you can see where it's going. So this is almost like the stems of this of this groove, what makes with this pattern. Uh, groove one, two, three, and four, you can see at the bottom here, these are the full grooves. And as you get to the top, you hear the separate kicks, snares, toms. And all this is is the MIDI information. So this is like someone creating a structure within the 16 pads. Really powerful, this now. So for instance, say I want to, let's make it a bit wider. Let's remove the lower pane so we can make it more tidy. So say I like groove five. And I say, okay, I like that. Let me work with that. Now I'm gonna open the, the zoom a bit more so we can see what's going on. Now, this is really powerful. So within the pattern mode, I can actually say, okay, drag it across. I can drag that across into the project window within Cubase, double click on it, and there's the groove. So there's the drum groove. So that is the drum groove of uh, the pattern. And this is the instrument mode. So the instrument is the samples within the pattern. So pattern is the grooves, instrument is the samples. So let's stick on pattern mode. There's the groove. Now let's have a listen. Uh, I can click on it. I can press P for position the markers and I can just solo and listen to this, this section. So I can then maybe say, okay, this is like, and there's two ways of looking at this. So the first one is, okay, everyone access, everybody has access to that groove within Cubase in the library. True. Um, also, I'm a heavy tweaker. I like to tweak things. I like to, I'm a heavy, you know, heavy customizable geek. I like to make it my own. I'm signature like, you know, as, as are many other people in this music business, you, you want to make things your own. You don't want to just use a loop or a sample and, and just have it laid bare. Although in some scenarios it works really well for that. Um, if you're making your own personal music for an album and stuff like that, you kind of want it to be your own. You want it to tweak things. You want it, you know, I don't want that snare to be there. I don't want that kick to be like that. I want more kicks. This is where uh, Groove Agent becomes really, really powerful. So I can look at the groove here. Obviously, C wants the kick. So I press D for duplicate. I'm going to have more kicks. I'm going to go crazy with the kicks just for, the, <laughs> just for this demo. Quite like that, actually. Uh, what's the snare? It's Tom there. Oh, I like that. So uh, I'm not going to use a keyboard, I'm just going to use a mouse now. Because uh, we're just showing this for a demo. Let's add some more of them in here. You know, random grooves. I'm happy with that. Now, this is what's really powerful that Groove Agent. I absolutely love this customizability. So, I like that groove. This is my own groove. Now, where do I go with that? Do I build up a groove and arrangement within Cubase and start tweaking the media as I go along? Or do I want more access to more power? So, I can then drag this groove back to the original groove pad. So you'll see a dialogue now with the arrow to the right, which means I'm gonna replace the original groove with the custom groove out of Cubase now. This is mine, so let go. You see the plus dialogue, I let go, bang. Now, if I press the pad on the pattern mode, now you can see where we're going with this. This is like unlimited power, uh, to use a quote, because you can actually go all the way up the 16 pads. So not only can you have 16 variations of the grooves, you can actually maybe make a break that's maybe quite 
uninteresting interesting by having 16 variations of it and then you can actually then when it comes to knuckling down and getting ideas you're not stuck thinking oh how do i create a pattern out of this pattern i'm sick of this break or i'm sick of this groove drum groove you can actually start to build up like this different patterns dragging and dropping dragging and dropping and then you've got your own structure uh, the other way of doing it is maybe building up different things like an intro or chorus or outro uh, really really powerful when i've done all that i can then go to here and save it as a default preset so then i can each time I'm stuck for inspiration or what a really quick quick ideas down or I'm a songwriter and I have my drummer, I have my drum samples, I have the drum ideas down, I can have this set up ready to roll, different types of drum patterns, and then I can every time I load Cubase, if I save it as a default preset, it'll come up with this groove. Right, I'm ready to roll, I'm not messing around. I need to get some quick drums down. That's how we roll, bang, it's there. And now I have a backing tracks, you know, I can concentrate on the keys and chords and all the other kind of musical stuff. Um if it's for a song, for instance. So it's really, really powerful. Obviously, it can be used for other than drums, but I think if you concentrate it with the mentality of being uh, within Cubase, for instance, if you're using the stock instruments, think of Groove Agent as your drums. Think of Patch Shop for your strings and sounds. Think of Sampler Track for using other samples expressively as sounds and synthesizer type stuff. Uh, use Retrolog for, you know, again, more synthesis stuff and strings and stuff like that. And then you start to work out um, how Cubase's instruments can work for you, quadruples for distortion, you know, frequency EQ for mastering, all stuff we looked at in the deep dive before. Um, but I think for, for drums, it really is powerful, really, really powerful. So coming back to here, we have a drum roll. So I have a groove agent drum roll here. Um, so we can close that down because that was a demo example that just randomly um, knocked up. Um, if you go here, open up the drum roll. So here's a kit that I have. Now, again, like in most things in Cubase, it's fully customizable. So you can actually, there's a right click context menu. We can change the colors for each of the individual pads. So we can try, you can send it to auxiliary outs. Um, we can select all pads in a group. We have the option to fix velocity. Uh, our great one for hardware people is MIDI follow and mapping as well, mapping it to a controller. Really, really great thing to do. Um, I love MIDI follow because it's like clicking on a sample you get to see where it is. So it's great to be able to actually see what you're working on um, as far as the actual waveform is concerned, like that. So yeah, really, really cool. Um, so on this drum kit that I've made, I'm using an, a, a kick and a snare and, a, and another kick and snare on different pads and I'll show you why I'm using them and how I'm using Groove Agent at the moment. It's a kit that I've tweaked and saved, so it's Banger Kit Dry. Um, here's a drum roll. So if I go to pattern mode, you can see what I've done here. So there's a drum roll, MIDI drum roll, uh, velocities are zooming in, that's fine. Gets a bit stronger and stays consistent in this roll. Now, most music has transitions, not just electronic music with drum rolls, like it could be crescendos, it can be scoring, it can be uh, sound design, whoosh bangs, things coming in and really, you know, THX type Star Wars zoom in and stuff like that, uh, surround and all that kind of funky stuff. So transitions and rolls are used quite a lot in, in any type of music, um, you know, even classical music. So this is great to be able to actually tweak that as well. So I've created a drum roll. Now, I can do the same thing as I did before, drag it to a pad. Again, what we shown a second ago. Now, what if I want to change the drum rolls? What if, I, what if I say, okay, I want it to go slower than faster? What if I wanted it to be more condensed? What if I wanted to do a longer drum roll over like four or eight or even 16 bars so it's constantly building up? Could be a film score where the you know the plane's coming in and it's and it's really getting the, the tension up the anxiety the really rolling in what if i want the longer one like that it's fully customizable i can do that so i can just keep doing different types of drum rolls like we've shown before and keep dragging them to the pads now there's another level to that so i can say okay there's my drum rolls but what happens if i want to change the speed without drawing out a long midi part and then tweaking it back in or what if I just want to check out it might sound faster Whatever, what is check out how it might sound slower. This is where it comes in. In the MIDI section uh, within Groove Agent, we get to see not only we can we get to see different parts of MIDI, but we get to control the, the MIDI as well. So we actually have full control of the MIDI, almost like audio, which is probably I think it's even more powerful to be honest because we have the audio, but now we have the MIDI, which I always find MIDI a lot more controllable. But now we have real deep control within the MIDI. And again, with it being a deep dive, let's have a look. So here's a drum roll. Now, if you look at this MIDI section, 
there's many modes here so we have quantize we have swing we can actually swing that drum roll uh, we can gate it and choose it what types of velocities come in but really cool here is a tempo scale so we can actually say okay give me half tempo give me normal tempo give me double tempo so you see where we're going with this now so I can actually then customize different types of rolls across the 16 pads so I can have 16 types of transitions 16 types of rolls and energy type things going on and then if I save that as a default kit it means that for instance if I'm really on a time scale I'm really making like a I don't know like game stuff or audio stuff um, or film stuff or I have a track album to do you know and I've only got a limited amount of time you're not sat there doing types of transitions and rolls which is not that hard to do to be honest it's quite easy to do on Cubase but then doing the velocities and then how many bars and across how many bars and oh, it might not sound right and I'm editing and stuff why not pre-map your 16 rolls so you have a starting point you have a starting pad point of 16 types of variations and rolls and transitions that you can then work within half tempos double tempos normal tempos wow it's like really creative and really endless where you can go with that and it also it saves time it saves a lot of time and this is what I've done here so and that's how I do my rolls now so I can then do a Let me do it again. I can do. In the row. And literally, if I want to have them rolls going in a section or a period of time, I just do the one into the two into the three. And then you can see the rolls there in the midi section. Really easy. Really, really easy. Really, really powerful. Absolutely powerful tool within Groove Agent. Okay, let's go to instrument mode. Uh, again, with it being a deep dive, we're going to go deep. So here we have the patterns, as, which are the samples. And this is a kit that I built up. So as you can see here, there's like one, two, three, four, there's five snares here. Let me zoom out so we can see everything. There's five snares here. So this is probably my favorite feature within Groove Agent SE. This is real power now, really, 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 really powerful stuff. So, okay, let's go to, for instance, Ekaton. No, uh, no. Yeah, stick with the tom. So there's three toms there. So what if I wanted to add to that tom? So let's add a snare to the tom. Media bay, I'm going to type snare, and here's all the snares. I quite like that. So this is the really powerful thing now. So I want to drag that and layer that with the tom. So I go to this sample, I drag it to the pad, now this is where it becomes really important. There's three dialogues here that you get now. So there's a plus sign, there's an arrow to the right, and then there's a solid three blocks. So the plus means that it's gonna add it to the pad. The right means it's gonna swap it with the pad what's currently on the pad. So you're gonna swap the pads over basically, fully wipe the pads. And the three means that if I drag a bunch of samples, it's gonna map them up chromatically up the keyboard, um, up the keys. So my important thing here is to add to the pad so the plus sign if, you, if i drop it here you'll see bang there it is so the three toms and then is that one i've added from the media bay construction kit three so now the dialogues become really important because if you look here in the modes underneath the layers there's different modes so there's velocity there's layer there's round robin there's random random exclusive um so obviously you can look at all these different options uh, velocity speaks for itself that means for instance i could have maybe 10 snares on or 10 toms on a, on, a, on a pad. And as I press them, lower down the octave, uh, as I press them, lower velocity wise on the keys, lighter on the keys, then lower samples will come in. As I press harder on the keys, harder velocities, the, the later samples come in. So you literally could do a crescendo and drum roll with one key, like, and it'll just it'll map out. Brilliant, really, really cool. My favorite is the layer mode though. So what the layer mode will do is it'll actually add uh, tom one two and three and the construction kit uh, snare that I just added and impact them all together so now I get this really really cool if I go back to velocity mode lower down the keys lower velocities lower sample higher up and the top one but I want them together so I go to layer mode And now you start to see where the powerful thing comes in of that Groove Agent now. I can actually start to build up my own custom fat drum kit. 
signature drum kit. So again, can't emphasize it enough. Say if it's a default preset, where's my kit? Everyone wants their sound. Like, you know, the whole of pop music, for instance, is based on uh, all the way back from the 70s and 80s. People having a signature sound. A band comes on, you know that you know their drums. You know how they, their drums sound. They have a certain sound, a certain signature. This is where you would go with this. You know, how you layer things and how you put them together. Infinite options. No one's going to layer two sounds this, the same. So not only can you layer them, you can also, you know, for instance, I can choose different layers. So I can say, okay, let's just take a bit of that snare out and leave the rest intact at the top and leave just a bit of the snare, a bit of the high end of the snare. So it's not too knocking, you know, really, really powerful stuff. And then you have other modes like random, uh, Ram Robin and Random Exclusive. Random will obviously do random, <laughs> a random route uh, of the layers. Random Exclusive means I think it plays with one of them only once. Um, and then Ram Robin, which is a great one, which means it will go in a circle. So it literally will, it's a great, inst for instance, to be able to play a kick, snare and hi-hat with one pad. And that's an old NPC trick. So it's good to learn how their relationships between them between those samples work. Um, but layer mode is my favorite. Really, really cool. And again, the more powerful things, again, as we dig deeper, each pad, uh, again, can be fully customizable, but also we have built-in pitch, built-in filters, built-in amplitude, uh, sample modes. And also there's actually vintage filter modes in here as well. So we can actually turn the filters on like we've shown before in the sampler track. And we can actually choose to have vintage sounds and filters. And you know they sound great in sampler track, right? So in here you can get really crunchy snares and stuff like that and drive things with distortion, you know? Big sound, get a really, really big sound with the hard clip. I love the hard clip. Um, so it's really, you're not just set in stone, you can actually really dig deep and customize. Um, going in another level further, there's a mixer. So the whole kit has mixers. So we have an auxiliary mixer that we can send it to. We have the kit mixer. And we have the master mixer. So if I go to the kits mixer, then we have, wow. So there's like plugins within the plugin. Um, we can actually choose to add reverb, for instance. I might want to add reverence, which is a nice um, convolution reverb. I want some more distortion. Give me a tape saturator. Give me some dynamics. I want some vintage compression, you know. And you get to then really fatten and, and sculpture this kit to make it your own. So. It's, it's very, very powerful what you can do within it. And this is just in the instrument mode. We saw the power of the pattern mode. This is the power of the instrument mode. So you can see where it goes. It's a really, really, really uh, great tool for drums. I would always say in Cubase, uh, if you're starting drums, go straight to Groove Agent. Um, and it's in, as far as I know, up until this video, uh, it's in Cubase uh, Elements, it's in Cubase Artists, and it's in Cubase Pro. All the same, Groove Agent 5 SE. Um, and we get to your keyboard if we want to, and we can open the browser as well, so we can actually choose to browse, and we have options to actually browse it from the desktop as well, so we can actually drag our own samples in there from the desktop. We're not just you're not just set to use a media bay. Um, you don't just have to use a media bay to. Although I love the media bay to be honest, uh, to drag things across. But if you choose to just stick within the media bay, obviously, if you don't know, with the media bay, we can actually choose a file browser, and we can actually stay within the media bay and browse from a USB or our own desktop uh, or drives, and then drag them across as well. So lots of um lots of customizability lots of power uh, within this um and finally one more really cool thing to show you is if i go to a fresh one again uh fresh groove agent let's just click reload it again fresh one again and i'm gonna say uh, let's just say 140 give me a 140 loop a rock groove which is really cool now so this is another really cool thing that it can do. So I can just drag the rock grooves again, simple dialogues. It's irrelevant what's on the pads because nothing's on there anyway. So it doesn't matter about the dialogues. They're not that important right now because the pads are clean. Uh, in instrument mode, dragged it across. I'm gonna zoom out here with the, the borders. See the whole loop. Let's unmute it. So within this as well, like there wasn't enough power and enough options and enough great things to do within Groove Agent uh, 5 SE, we go to slice mode. So I can go to slice mode and I can create slices and look at that, two clicks and there we are. Now I have the individual slices of that break rapidly ready to map out. I can just maybe, uh, uh, maybe I'd just like the snare. I can use a snare and you're not just set to the transients, you can actually choose to 
change the threshold if you choose to. You can actually choose how much of it you want to actually um, open up in the, the, the pads. So if this snare, okay, it's a bit tight. Give me a bit more of that, a bit more. Open it up. Really great. And then I can go to pattern mode and then I have the pattern. And then I can start doing the stuff we've shown before. So you see where it's going. I mean, there's so many options in here. Like it is my favorite instrument within Cubase. I absolutely love it. So yeah, real powerful options. I always say as a nice tip as well is when you're doing stuff like if you if you do map a kit out and chop it, start to color your things. Um, you know, I always have kicks there. Snares use like yellow or blue. So yeah, and then you, and then when it comes to find out where the kick or snare is quickly, obviously you can see it flashing up and monitor it. But then I can all right, there's a kick, there's a snare. Um. Also, on the pads, you can also solo mute on the pads as well. So, I mean, there's so much more to it as well. This is only the SE version. The full version, can you imagine? It just goes so deeper as well. Um, but yeah, Groove Agent 5 SE. I'll also look at Groove Agent as well. Have a look at that online, um, on our online documentation. Have a look at our videos because you'll you'll see the power of what you can use it for. Um, like, for instance, in the full version, you have the ability to mix different agents, like Jazz Agent, Percussion Agent, and that's the whole thing about the agents, you know, you can actually mix them together and it's, it's unlimited what you can do in it. So SE5, it, I mean, for me, it's, it's super powerful and I absolutely love it. But again, if you want to take it to another level, you can go for the full version, uh, the full fat version and do even more stuff on here. And also just to quickly show you, it's also got an undo and redo as well. So you're also not stuck to doing an edit and going, ah, how did I do that? What did I do? How do I undo it? Uh, the full commands in there as well. So there you go. Um, I hope you enjoyed that whole deep dive. That was the final chapter uh, in this series. Um, the track is called Turbo Kid. I have no idea if it's going to come out. I just did it for this video. Um, deep dive one was sample track. Then we looked at frequency EQ. Then we looked at quadrifors. And of course, now we're looking at Groove Agent. So I hope you enjoyed this series. And until the next one, peace. <laughs>